Senate Deputy Minority Leader Rison Deveros has formally asked Senate President Juan Miguel Mixibiri to approve the subpoena against religious leader Apolo Kibuloy. This as the subpoena remains unreleased due to lack of signature by the Senate Chief since it was issued by the Senate Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations and Gender Equality last month. In a letter dated February 6, Juan Deveros cited a need to compel Kibuloy to appear before the committee to respond to the allegations against him by the witnesses including human trafficking, sexual and physical abuse, and child sexual exploitation. She also pointed out to Zubiri that the Senate has consistently issued subpoenas to resource persons who failed to attend inquiries without justifiable reason. Hontiveros noted that the religious leader was invited in the first hearing but did not attend. He didn't actually give me a, an explanation. Basta may dahilan, pag itinanong niyo sa kanya, mas ipaliliwanag niya. Uh, halos walang, walang paliwanag na kaya kong tanggapin. Presumption of regularity lang eh, na kapag uh, hindi pinaunlakan ang isang imbitasyon, in this case dalawang imbitasyon, uh, ang susunod na hakbang na pwedeng gawin ng komite ay yung sabpina. Uh, I don't need to be satisfied or dissatisfied sa uh, paliwanag ni SP. Uh, ang, ang nangingibabaw sa akin ay yung pag-asa na mapipirmahan yung sabina. Mahaba po ang pasensya ko. So kahit uh, naiinip ako, iintayin ko po yan. At habang naghihintay sa sabina, itutuloy ang pagdinig ng komite. Zubiri has yet to comment on the matter. Despite Kibuloy's absence, Hontevero says the Senate's inquiry into Kibuloy's alleged abuses will push through with a new batch of witnesses. This as the lawmaker reveals tactics from alleged members of Kibuloy's organization, Kingdom of Jesus Christ, to derail the proceedings. Ang malala, may ibang mga miyembro ng kingdom na mukhang inutusan na makipag-ugnayan sa opisina ko para magkunwaring tetestigo tungkol sa mga pangaabuso ng leader nila. Pero ang totoong pakay pala ay pagmukhang walang kwenta ang hearings ng Senado. Ang kapal, di ba? Iyan ba ang utos ni Kiboloy? Iyan ba ang gawain ng isang anak ng Diyos? Huwag ninyong linlangin ang institusyon ng Senado. Hindi nyo kami basta-basta maloloko. At kay Apollo Kiboloy, dapat managot kayo. The UN TV News is trying to get a comment from Kiboloy's camp, but he has previously stated that he will not attend the Senate probe and will only answer to courts. Harleen Delgado, UN TV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.